Hi everyone, I am Orhan I am going to explain Inter-AS MPLS VPN option A. In RFC 2547, there are three types of Inter-AS options defined. Uh, option A, Option B and Option C. I am going to explain in this first video Inter-AS option A, which is also known back-to-back -back VRF approach. Okay? Now, first we should understand why we are doing Inter-AS uh, MPLS VPNs between two autonomous systems. Why we are doing that? It can be because customers might have many pop locations, many branch offices, many stores uh, throughout the world and their upstream service provider may not have location in some sites. That's why customer, if customer wants to extend their MPLS VPN network everywhere, all their locations, so, between different service providers, this interest uh, MPLS VPN arrangement should be done. And now I will start with the, as you can see from the uh, picture, option A. Here in this diagram, we have two service providers. At the left side, we have AS10 and also another service provider, AS20. What are the components of interest option A? The most important thing is. ASBR routers, PE3 in AS10 and PE4 in AS20. Those ASBR routers in InterAS option A needs to keep each and every, for the each and every customer, different VPN, different VRF uh, and also sub-interfaces. This is the most important parameter in InterAS option A. Why? Because not only sub-interfaces they need to keep, but also routing protocol will run over that interface and also that ASPR will run VPN multi protocol BGP uh, address family with the route reflectors or between the other PEs in a full mesh approach right uh, the problem after receiving the VPN routes from the route reflector or the PE devices it needs to do the redistribution towards the uh, sub-interface and also uh, bi-directional redistribution of course once it's received from the sub-interface over that uh, inter service provider link it needs to re redistribute also into the multi protocol BGP now problem once the customer number of customer sites grows who needs inter of course MPLS VPN then this will not be scalable because now for each and every customer you need to create sub-interfaces, you need to do the redistribution, so on and so forth on the ASBR devices. And also ASBR device uh, resources, CPU and memory will be consumed a lot because not only BGP routes uh, from the VPN neighborship, from the route reflector or uh, from the PEs, but also those prefixes needs to be kept in, kept in the routing table. Then you need to put them into the VRF table. Okay, so the CPU and memory definitely will be consumed a lot. But uh, the good thing is uh, the service provider will treat each other as customers. There is no MPLS. Uh, pro there is no MPLS between the service providers. So just uh, IP configuration between the service providers. This is good. Uh, from the security point of view, actually, since these two service providers, they are not actually redistributing any information other than customers, of, of course. Their infrastructure information, like loopback addresses or of the PEs or the loopback addresses of the route reflectors, will not be uh, redistributed between the service providers, which is very good from the security point of view. We will see in other inter MPLS VPN options, you need to redistribute some information Okay, but so far what we have learned for the interior option A, we need uh, service providers treat each other as customers. You create on the ASBR router at the border router, you need to create sub interfaces or maybe physical interface per customer, which is not scalable if you have hundreds of now customers who want interface MPLS VPN now you need hundreds of also sub interfaces and run different protocols or maybe BGP for each and every of them 
uh, overdose some interfaces now you need to manage but in real life actually what I have seen from the customers uh, the service provider what they are doing they are creating interface option A because it is very simple to configure okay but from the security point of view it's not if you have hundreds of customers you are not uh, the good thing probably we are not running MPLS you not LDP not BGP at all between the service providers Thanks for watching and please check all other MPLS VPNs, interest MPLS VPNs videos as well and also please uh, subscribe to my YouTube channel. Thank you.